you know, people think that summertime, they think deep, deep fishing. And especially on the Tennessee River out here, whether it's Kentucky Lake or Pickwick or Chickamauga, any of the lakes, you know, that's known for offshore fishing. The later the summer it gets, the hotter the warmer, temp the, warmer the water temperature gets. And you get those real hot, muggy days and hot, muggy nights. It'll actually drive those fish up. So, you know, you go out there and you're looking around, you're scanning, looking for schools of fish, and you're not seeing anything. It, the reason is because they're not there. They're, they, they moved up. So when late summer gets here, what I like to do is get out on the get out on the lake, and I'll find those shallow flats. So I'll I'll uh, a lot of times I'll take my map and I'll do a color shade of like eight feet or ten feet, so that I know that I can just go to those shallow flats. And most of the shallow flats out here are going to have some sort of wood on them and, and throw a worm. You know, whether it be a shallow flat with stumps or brush, those fish like to move into that wood late summer. That's why you don't see the schools of fish. It's, you know, it's really tough fishing. It's, you'll catch, you know, you're looking for five to seven bites a day. And usually if you get a bite, it's usually a pretty good one. But a bait that I really like to throw out here, I've been playing with it a lot here lately. It's a new worm. Uh, and I throw it on a jig head. This is the Divine Shaky Head, 3 8 ounce from, from 6 cents. And this has got the new uh, plum worm. You know, if there's a color that they had to have for the Tennessee River, it's plum. That's the 7 inch, you know, bigger the bait, bigger the fish. I'm a big believer in fishing a big worm to fish that, fish that big worm. But I just like to come out here and throw it on those shallow flats, you know, that has brush on it, has stumps on it, any kind of shallow wood. Those fish want to come up, they got to come up for oxygen. They're not out there in that 25 feet of water. They're going to be, for the most part, in less than 10 foot of water.